Um, what I'm like afraid of is like I have like a best friend named Cleo, and like I'm afraid of her falling out of our friendship. My biggest fear is um, losing someone I love and aging. My fear is being a failure in the future and like just being a disappointment to my parents. I'd say that I'm most scared of failure and um, not achieving my goals. Um, I think something that I'm worried about is like losing a loved one. Um, I think this fear came from like um, sometimes when we're like talking, like either through text or like through a call, she abruptly leaves sometimes. And like, I'm the type of person to like overthink a lot. So I like, my, I, my mind started the spiral like after every day passed. Um, I like start to think and wonder if I, if like the reason why she left so like suddenly is because I said something wrong or like something to upset her. In like fifth grade, like I came home from school, like all was well, all was normal. And all of a sudden, like, I was downstairs. I walk up the stairs. I see my dad and my family laying down on my bed. He's like collapsed. He's like, oh yeah, call the ambulance. So I kind of freak out. Like that is like, when you hear something like that, it like takes you back. So like, like I was like kind of in shock. I was like, oh no, like this is it. Like my dad's kind of a more elderly person and he has like heart conditions and like sudden deaths is a thing in my family. So he left. He had to go to the ambulance and I didn't see him until like the next day at, um, after school. I come from a cultural background that frowns upon certain careers, so I feel more limited and restricted with what I can do. And now that we're in high school, everything just moves by so fast. So I just need to like put everything together and figure it out. Um, I'd say like, when I get bad marks or when I don't understand a concept, I just get really like anxious and that's because I set high like mark goals for myself. Like I always try to get like high 80s to 90s and so with that, if I don't understand a concept, I just panic and I'm also pretty shy, like introverted, so I don't like asking for help either. So it's just like on top of each other, like when you stack them up, I. I really get really anxious and like I, I can have panic attacks stuff like that and that's what mostly triggers it uh, I think this came from my mother because you know she's been through a lot of loss in, in her life and um, I've never seen her go through it like how she's dealt with it until a couple years ago when she lost her nephew and like I saw how she dealt with losing him and it was like super heartbreaking and um, I just couldn't imagine myself in that situation and like how I would react. Like I, I literally don't know what I would do if that happened to me, if I lost someone I was close with. I've learned to break away from people's expectations and focus on a profession that I love because I would rather do something I love than do something lucrative. And I just feel like it would be better for me and I would rather be doing something I like every day than focusing on something that's more lucrative. As, mm, I think I've improved. Um, like right now, at, like at the moment, I don't really, I'm not as worried that she'll leave me like as of now. I try to cherish um, the moments I, spe I have with my loved ones because I don't know when it's going to be the last time.